edition of Seller's Corner, your go-to source for all things reselling. I'm Erin, I'm on the marketing team at Vendu, and today I'm here to talk to you about how to ship large packages in the cheapest way. But before I do, let me invite you to subscribe to our channel. We publish content every Friday, and it's all related to Vendu product tips, community updates, and information on how to grow and scale your resale business. When Team Vendu came to visit in my area, we did a lot of thrifting, and I am shipping this very large, very heavy 25 pound box from here in Massachusetts all the way to Deanna in Missouri. So I went on social media and I asked the cheapest way to ship large orders and I got a ton of responses. So I decided to try all of them. I weighed this all up, measured it, and tried a few different box sizes. And I compared Pirate Ship, Shippo, Sendal, Parcel Monkey, Greyhound Shipping, and Lug Less. Note that I did not try any of the resale marketplaces. While they do enjoy great rates, it wouldn't have necessarily been proper because this was not purchased on a resale marketplace. Plus, there would have been applicable fees. So those are the platforms I tried and stay tuned to see which one was the winner. So first, I tried Sendal. A ton of people recommended Sendal for this large order. Sendal was easy to use, but an account was required to be created before I could even get a rate. Um, interestingly, on Sendal, there are just weight tiers, so an exact weight is not required. But I could not use Sendal to ship this package. Sendal does not allow for parcels over 20 pounds. I did learn, though, that 20 pounds would have shipped for $20, which is incredible. So I still highly recommend using Sendal for your shipping. Next, I tried Parcel Monkey. And this was one that I had never heard of either, but it was super easy to use. I didn't need an account to get a quote, and I think I got a quote in like 20 seconds. All that I needed to enter for an estimate was the weight and the to and from zip codes but the quote was $33. So I didn't bother to create an account and get an actual value because as you'll see moving forward, $33 is nowhere near some of the better rates I got on other websites. The next shipping platform that I tried is called Lugless, as in lug less. It's a website designed to skip having luggage while traveling and to send items right to your destination rather than carry on. But they do residential to residential shipping at some great rates. There was no account required for a quote. It was super easy to use. I just entered the category of what it was. So this category would be the size um, that they call carry on. The to and from addresses and a date of delivery, which makes sense because it's for vacation. So I chose two weeks out thinking that I'd get a very reasonable estimate, and I did. Via FedEx, it would be $28. Interestingly, via UPS, it would be $84. That $28 rate for this was the best I had come across once I got it, so I definitely recommend checking out Lugless. But, I got an even better rate than that. Next, to ship my large package, I tried the website Shippo, like hippo with an S. <laughs> I got an incredible rate on Shippo, but it was not easy to use. It took me quite a while. An account was required to get a quote, and there was just so much information about the shipment and what was in it and it was not a user-friendly interface. That said, there could be some benefits to that information, 
being really specific um, as to what the item is, might have qualified it for a better rate. So alternatively, I might have appreciated it. But for my purposes, I think it took me the time to get a rate on Shippo that it did all of the others collectively. That said, on Shippo, I could ship this via UPS ground for $25.17. That is an amazing rate. Or if I prefer USPS with Shippo, I was quoted at $39.48. So Shippo offered great rates, almost the best rates. And the winner was Pirate Ship. I have been using Pirate Ship for years, and that's probably what I would have used anyways, but it was fun to do that research. There is an account required for Pirate Ship, but it's a super, super easy to use, clean and friendly interface. All you do is you enter the to and from addresses, the dimensions, and the weight. That's it. This parcel was too large to qualify for the bag in a box option, but I will talk about it for a moment. If on Pirate Ship, you use a box in a bag, rather than just a bag, you will receive a much better rate. So quite literally, putting a box in a poly bail mailer, or in this case, even a garbage bag, would have got me a much better rate. I'm not sure how or why that works, but it does. Always consider, if your listing is eligible, the box in a bag option on Pirate Ship. For this one, the dimensions were too large, but, I received a rate for UPS ground of $25.15, two cents cheaper than Shippo, but remember that it's much easier to use. Interestingly, if I wanted it to ship USPS via pirate ship, it was actually cheaper on Shippo. So the moral of this story is that there are plenty of great places to ship large packages. And I would definitely recommend looking at Lugless, Shippo, and Pirate Ship. Just by a hair, Pirate Ship provided me the best rate on this specific parcel. Do you often ship large packages? What is your favorite mode of shipment? If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. I'll see you next time, reseller friends.